Hey, what's going on everyone? Well, I want to welcome you back to the channel and I want to give you my impressions on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My most anticipated game of 2017 right at the end of the year and I can tell you that I am not disappointed. Now, Xenoblade, the first one being my favorite game um, of all time, um, this sequel definitely lives up to the series. Just like I'm um, just like X, not um, X. You know, the story was a little meh to me, uh, but everything else about X I thought was perfect in terms of gameplay and exploring and stuff. Um, the gameplay in this is um, just as good. You know, it's in a different style, of course. The story is great, just like the first game. Um, the first game I just thought had an immaculate story, so. Um, but it's almost on par with the story, so it's really good in that department. Um, so when it comes to the gameplay, it's they made a difference in the art system, so um, switching between different blades and that is really cool. Um, I, I didn't like it initially, I thought, wow, this is weird, I just want to use one blade, which is, you know, the main blade, Pyra or whatever. Um, because I thought it was a hassle to switch blades in that. Um, but it gets really in-depth later on. I mean really, really in-depth. And it becomes really fun and addictive. Um, there is random elements to it where um, you can get blades. They have random skills on them. So um, it could get... It sometimes gets to a point where it's almost like loot boxes but without, <laughs> but without having to actually pay. Um, but it's really cool because... Um, I, it's really great to see what kind of end game setups people have because every blade, except for the rare blades, of course the rare blades are set, like they don't have random skills. Um, but when it comes to common blades, common blades can be really good, they're not, they're not always just trash compared to the rare blades, so um, that's what I like about it. There's a lot of um, depth and, uh, I, how do I explain this, a lot of different ways you can go around creating a party and it's that's what's great about the randomness of the skills and that with different blades as you get to see the different setups people have with their end game setup and it's really damn cool you can you can make any of your characters however you want I mean you can hell you can make your tank turn into an attacker and one of your healers turn into a tank um, you can customize it any way you want and it's absolutely great I love it um, so that's what that's I, I thought it wasn't going to be in depth the first game yeah not too in depth when it comes to customizing your characters and that it becomes pretty standard later on in the game um, Xenoblade Chronicles X insane amount of customization this game not as much insane customization but um, almost on par in terms of that so I, I really love that um, story, I'm not going to go in depth with that because I don't want to give spoilers. If someone has not played the game yet, I want you to go and play it for yourself because it is great. I've put in over 100 hours already in the game. Um, it is, and I'm not bored at all. I'm still playing it. Uh, I just, I can't stop playing it. It is absolutely addicting. Um, I honestly, it's really hard to put it above Zelda. I, th I think I have to have Zelda on top though. Um, Breath of the Wild was just too clean, but this was a really close second, so I'm really happy how this game turned out. Honestly, I thought this game was going to be rushed. It might have been rushed um, in terms of graphics, maybe, uh, but the art style makes up for it because it's just, you know, it's colorful and it's got a cartoon s style to it, so it works out in that department. Um, but no, um, they did not hold back. This game is, I mean, it's wonderful, like, there's no flaws really I can find too much except for a certain mini game that is required to upgrade one of your characters, and <laughs> it's called Tiger Tiger. I mean, the mini game is cool, it's like an actual cool arcade game. Um, like, it actually makes out to be a good game, but the thing is, you have to, if you want to max out your char that certain character, you have to um, grind the hell out of this mini game, and you'll be playing it a lot if you're doing that. So that's that's one of the biggest complaints I have. You'll find out when you play it. Trust me. Um, but that's something you can ignore. It's not necessary. Um, and so that's what I love about it. Just the in depth of the game. 
story story you can't like you can't really get better than this like it it really has a nice good story to it and it really gets you thinking and toward the end they sort of they explain everything properly they don't leave you hanging it's like what what, what the hell was that all about from this early on no you know everything what's going on and it works out great now when it comes to exploration um i think it has more exploration than the first game um, the first game, yeah, had a huge open world, but some, it was only a few big open areas and not too much exploration from what I could see. Um, and in this one, I feel like there's a lot more explorable areas and different items to collect and the adding of the field skills um, is required, you know, to get into secret areas. So I really like it and um, side quest is another thing I love about this game. There's not as many side quests as the previous game, but um, these side quests aren't just, you know, they're not short. Like, they're actually a decent length side quest, and um, they give good rewards in terms of leveling up your blades and that, so um, I really like how they did that. There's also other other small quests that you can do um, on the side while you're exploring and that, so that's really cool. Um, so you can sort of multitask in the game and, you know, rank up that way. And I love that, so... Um, uh, initially, I can't really say much more about it. It's just... Uh, I'd say it's just as good as the other two games. That's all I can say. And the other two games, to me, are absolute gold. Um, I mean, they're, they're my fa those other two were the favourite on, on those systems. Um, X was my favourite on the Wii U, favourite game on the Wii U. Chronicles, favourite game of all time, obviously on the Wii. This um this isn't my favorite on the Switch because Zelda just blew it away. Sorry, Zelda was just too good. Um, but it's it's damn close. I can tell you that. And I can't wait to revisit it. Um, in however long I don't know next year, maybe six months again, because I love the hell out of this game. And that's really all I can say. Um, apparently there's gonna be DLC that's gonna happen, and I actually look forward to playing this DLC. I don't know if it's paid DLC, though. I think it's um, free. Uh, don't quote me on that, please. Um, but, like, I'm, I'm usually not inspired to play DLC with games in, unless I'm really interested in the game. And this is game. This is a game I'll definitely pick up uh, downloadable content for. So I guess that tells you something. Anyway, um, don't be afraid to pick this game up. You will not be disappointed. I don't know what you think about the battle system. I heard people don't like it. They think it's too slow. It's definitely not slow. It picks up like hell later on in the game. And it's super exciting, especially in terms of your character builds and the way you think about building your team. It is really cool. Um, I'm not going to name this character in specific, but there's this one character that you can um, stack evasion... Uh, ev evasion percentages on and your evasion just goes skyrocketing and it's just so cool because they just um, aggro all the enemies and they just dodge everything it's great uh, yeah just stuff like that you can just build your characters any way you want that's my favorite part about it just building your characters and that's what I love about any RPG building your characters from from the start and oh, yeah, they're adding um, New Game Plus soon, aren't they, as an update. Um, and I'm going to end it off there. So that's my that's really my opinion on Xenoblade Chronicles without any spoilers. I could go in depth on the story, um, but I'm not because I, I want people to sort of enjoy my opinion without having to worry about listening to the story or spoiling it. But yeah, that's um, pretty much it. I think it's great. 9 out of 10, in my opinion. There's no such thing as a perfect game, in my opinion. Um, so, uh, go ahead and get the game, even if it gets cheaper. Make sure you play it at some point in the Switch's life cycle. Um, stay tuned for more Nintendo and other gaming content. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe if you're interested in more of these type of discussions and that. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch us later.